Hey folks, um, just want to bring you an update and uh, just let you know I'm calling it quits on this this large wind turbine design. It is a complete bust. The thing is a dog, and uh, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass that one on. I'm gonna focus on what I should have focused on in the first place, and that is scaling up the small turbine, which is a successful design. And uh, I knew I wouldn't be able to improve on that design anyway. And so this one, I'll show it to you real quick. Maybe it'll inspire somebody with some ideas. But uh, basically, I built this armature. And it was kind of an experimental armature. And uh, the problem is, it's too dang heavy. I didn't do the math on it. And I know better. And uh, uh, you know, I should have consulted my mathematical genius daughter who finish up calculus too when she was 16 and setting off to Wellesley College now. Probably marry somebody from MIT, that would be great. But anyway, she loves alternative energy too, so we got some a new generation of great minds working on these problems. But in the meantime, just so you don't lose interest in my channel, I have a cool little trick, a lighting trick I want to share with you real quick here. And uh, it's a little emergency lighting trick. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you need lighting, you can make an emergency oil lamp by using a little dish, some scrap paper that comes in the mail constantly, and some just regular old cheap vegetable oil. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could use uh, olive oil or something like that, but this is just the cheap stuff. And basically, what you do, take a small scrap of this paper, <clears throat> like so. What you want to do is start right in the center here and start twisting it into a wick. And you kind of twist it and make yourself a small little wick. And believe it or not, this type of oil lamp will burn for many, many hours. You drop your little piece of paper in there. <clears throat> and I pour the oil right over the top of it. Once your, uh, your oil lamp, you can let it soak there for a while. Let it, let the paper completely soak up the oil. And uh, I'll just hurry it along there by giving a little dunk. You notice I have my fire extinguisher. Never ever leave you an oil lamp or a candle unattended. But you light it and it lights up into an emergency oil lamp that uh, you made from stuff that most people have in their house in less than a minute so um, and it burns for a very very long time this way and uh, so this uh, this gives you gives you a, a neat way to have some emergency lighting and just to give you a hint I have another emergency lighting method that uses absolutely no fuel and no electricity and no it doesn't defy any of the laws of physics and it's a kind of an interesting little Thing I came across um, sort of accidentally and I'm going to share that with you uh, in an upcoming video uh, so stay tuned and uh, got some good things coming so all right God bless catch you soon okay bye bye